So there are many upcoming top 1s, ranging in difficulty from at this point just top 10 to borderline humanly impossible levels that will take years to complete. There is also a large range in quality and originality. Also, before you go into the comments and say Ascension to Heaven is easy, take a moment to realize that 99% of you do not have the skill to beat this, so unless you beat Slaughterhouse, your time is better spent trying to find who asked. I'm not going to pretend that I have the skill to beat Ascension to Heaven, so I'm just going to go with what the top players have said so far. So let's face it, upcoming top 1s are oversaturated as an idea. Half the time no one knows what the next top 1 will be, and when the next top 1 is verified, sometimes you won't even know until it's rated. I can't blame you, there's like 50 upcoming top 1s. I mean, how many people knew about Slaughterhouse being verified before its verification as opposed to Bloodlust or Sonic Wave? So naturally, there will be some genuinely good top 1s that showcase the hardest of the hardest gameplay in the game, along with Deco, that should help represent the community. In a way, a top 1 represents what the community can accomplish. So let's go through all the categories that make a good top 1, and why I think Ascension to Heaven is a great example of all of those categories. So from what I've heard, the gameplay is good, or at the very least, not 1.9 Viper in quality. The gameplay consists of lots of consistently based gameplay, timings, spam, and a good portion of ship and wave gameplay. This covers most of the categories of gameplay, and due to the level being an XXL 5 minute extreme demon, the gameplay is a little more accessible to the average player, meaning you can play small parts of it, similar to what Zodiac is like. Okay, so out of the few parts of gameplay that we have seen so far, I must say I'm very impressed with the decoration. The theming of the level is much more unique than, let's say, any Hell level, which I will get into in more depth when I talk about atmosphere. The quality of the decoration in this level is no short of outstanding, and probably some of the best of, of any upcoming top 1, at least in my opinion. It showcases what the level is themed after, ascending to heaven among the clouds to the point where you're higher than Robtop when he rates levels, and the theming helps build the intensity and atmosphere of the level, something that Deco helps it accomplish. Although I do think it would be pretty nice if there was like some sort of maybe legacy mode, or I mean this is an original project, so maybe some sort of low detail mode that has its own thing going on. Atmosphere is very important in a top 1. When atmosphere is done right, the majority of the community can overlook the subpart deco or trash gameplay in favor of nostalgia a few years later when they look back on it, or just in general. The best top 1s show that it's a top 1 through atmosphere, such as Slaughterhouse with its ominous pre-drop and sudden intense drop, or the Bloodlust route of emphasizing the idea of having an epic top 1. Ascension to Heaven does this, but in a different way than just your average you will die sort of thing with every top 1. Ascension to Heaven has much more of a finale feel to it, but in a positive or nostalgic way. If that doesn't make any sense to you, basically just think of it as similar to Zodiac in building up the atmosphere towards the end. Also, Ascension to Heaven is one of the longest upcoming top ones, and it uses the entire song to make it feel like a journey through the level. The song choice fits in very well with the theming, at least in my opinion, and it definitely helps with the atmosphere. That being said, you can't just expect atmosphere to carry the entire level, and the decoration we have been shown so far seems to be very good quality. So it's good to have both as opposed to just good deco and no atmosphere, or lots of atmosphere and no deco. If the level keeps on track in the way that it's going, I think it'll trip out to be a very good top 1, if it is verified to be a top 1 because there's like 50 upcoming top 1s and any of them could be verified soon and actually be harder, but I don't really care. I would just recommend for this level that maybe make sure that the gameplay is at least sort of enjoyable for top players and definitely stays pretty balanced. Don't just do the Sakoop and Circles thing. Keep up the decoration quality, but also try to make it as optimized as you can without compromising the quality because, I mean, lag. And maybe use some more darkness to emphasize the atmosphere. When the full layout was shown, the very beginning had a lot of black space, which I think could be used a little bit more. But I mean, other than that, it's pretty good. The only criticism I have for this level is it looks like there are coin routes in it. I'm not sure if this is temporary, but I don't think it's a good idea to keep in the final level because it could be a slightly easier or slightly harder to take the coin path, which kind of messes with the difficulty specifically. And people get really specific when they're talking about difficulty in like the top one spot. And I guess some more gold would be kind of nice, but those are just kind of nitpicks. So yeah. Those are my thoughts on Ascension to Heaven, and why I think it's the best upcoming top 1. Like the video and comment if you want me to talk about the worst upcoming top 1 in my opinion, because I totally make it. Also remember, this is all just my opinion. If you think that there are better top 1s, that's obviously fine. The second part of the 1k special is coming soon, but it's taking a little longer than I expected, so it'll be out probably sometime within a week that this video has been that's going up, so there's that to look forward to. Also, subscribe so I can feed my family. At 2,000 subscribers, I'm thinking of maybe opening a Discord server and starting, you know, a couple mega collabs. Enjoy the ad-free content while you still can, and I'll see you in the next one.